Well, tonight, you know, some consider it the Nobel Prize of Conservation. Today, the Indianapolis Prize announced longtime conservationist Russ Mittmeyer has won this year's award. His contributions to saving species spans decades of work with animals and teaching people the importance of the environment. And tonight, their own John Stair shows us how the winner has seen more primates in the wild in his lifetime than any other conservationist in history. There are 195 countries in the world. By his own count, Russ Mittermeier has been to 170 of them and done field work in more than 30. I live in Great Falls, Virginia, and that's my home base, but in any given year I'll be traveling, uh, let's say, 80% of the time. To places like Brazil, Suriname, and Madagascar. We're here on the Copanami River at Fungo Island. He promotes biodiversity hotspots, which has given the conservation community a framework to focus on the places that are so important to the natural world. Because of efforts like this and his focus on primates, they remain the only larger group of mammals that has not lost a single species to extinction in the past hundred years. I like looking at what I've done, but you do that too much and it gets boring, and then you lose your, your edge. Russ Mittermeier's strength has always been his edge. He's one of the rare conservationists who is just as comfortable in the boardroom as he is in the rainforest. He headed up the Conservation International Group for more than 25 years before joining Global Wildlife Conservation as Chief Conservation Officer in 2017. He speaks seven languages and has a way of influencing world leaders to care about conservation. You know, and you can see the, uh, the passion going through, and you can see the conservation leader, you know, in the middle of the forest in, the, in Suriname, or the head of state behind, you know, uh, a fancy desk, you know, in a capital city, being touched by this, you know, and listening to Russ. He earned his Ph.D. from Harvard in biological anthropology in 1977. And even after all these years, Mittermeier is still optimistic about the future of conservation. He admits that much of the natural world has been lost, but he says there is plenty left to save. And as he closes in on age 70, he intends to keep trying to do his part. You know, I've got such a long agenda of things that I still have to do, species that I haven't seen in the wild, countries that I have to get to. I don't think I'm going to get to all of them because, you know, time kind of runs out after a while. But uh, as long as I can uh, see straight and walk, I'll, uh, I'll continue to, uh, to try to. And that includes motivating the next generation to continue the work. All three of his children are conservationists, ensuring that the Mittermeier legacy will go on after he makes his last trip into the field. Now, Mittermeier says he will now use some of the $250,000 prize money to generate matching donations for conservation causes. And as you just heard, he'll also use some to help his three children also in their conservation careers. Now, you can read more about him and the other finalists on our website at wthr.com prize. Mm -hmm.